The National Environment Agency says it's stepping up inspections on coffee shops with dirty toilets from the current once a month to three times a month. Now this comes as the Restroom Association of Singapore released its latest toilet survey results, which showed that loos in coffee shops are still the dirtiest. Wayne Chan with more. All public toilets should have a mandatory rating scheme. That's what the Restroom Association, or RAS, has recommended to the government. It's also what 8 in 10 survey respondents wanted. Currently, toilets are graded under a voluntary system called the Happy Toilet Program. The RAS also recommended stricter toilet design guidelines. Nearly half of the respondents found toilet cubicle space too tight. Most also preferred toilets with seats over squatting ones. Now, according to the survey, this modesty board next to urinals is one of the things that toilet users say they want for a more private experience. And here's another thing that can help keep toilets clean. A one-stop washing basin where people can wash their hands, dry them, and dispose of the litter in one place. Another recommendation, more specialized training for toilet attendants. We are working with uh, WDA to review the existing uh, training program. This uh, elective uh, toilet cleaning training modules uh, has been 32 hours. So right now we want to see whether, if, uh, whether is there any duplicate uh, a sector in this training uh, modules. Also needed, more hard-hitting messages to the public. To, to highlight that a dirty toilet, it can be a, a life-threatening issue. For example, if the floor is wet and you step on it, you slip and you fall. Uh, once you hit your head, it can be a life-threatening problem. Another example is the one handling food. If you go to a dirty toilet and they don't have the, uh, the facility and many, they don't have a hand soap for you to wash your hand, when you come back to prepare the food, if in case there's a germ spread, this can be another life-threatening uh, uh, issue. The association also wants to remind the public that toilet and food hygiene are interlinked. About two-thirds of people say they're fine with dirty toilets and food outlets, as long as they sell good food.